truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Ormelium! I hope this is important to learn. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside his head, but he hasn't turned. No cerebral fortune. That's impossible. But intrigue. Are you looking to have it extracted? Geich, your head will make a fine trophy for my queen. Please hold. I understand your rage against my kin. One of my brethren forced a tadpole into your eye. Or ear, perhaps. But I assure you, I stand with the Society of Brilliance, not the colonies of my people. Fool! They infest your head and invade your dreams, and still you would parley. I ask only refrain from violence. I respect that your opinion of my kind may be charged. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. As Omelum's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size, alive, awake, almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. A naughty boy. Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Mythid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane. From their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Of course, I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal, but I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh tongue of madness and Timask spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timasks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory.
The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare. And their discovery, perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. The Southwest, when I last saw her, although her tower does have a tendency to move. She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Uh, nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Sousa Bark took priority. My formula will hamper the more harmful effects once the mushrooms are brewed into a potion. Your sanity however much you possess, should remain intact. May your travels be safe and swift. I greet you, child of the sun. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? Melon turns away to prepare the potion, lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draft. I can make no promises as to its taste. The acidic liquid tightens your throat, burning on the way down. It's a bolt of agony straight to your stomach. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, you may find yourself acting irrationally. Try and stay focused. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. Sinking into a starless void that has no end. The connection between mind and body draws thin and tight. The tadpole spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it means to hollow out your skull. Cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. The parasite swells with power, more power than you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The parasite in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. Omeluan, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. There is more to this being than mere stasis.
indeed. Although I may have another solution, albeit a temporary one. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence, both positive and negative. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? with this abomination, nigh unthinkable. Yet, even Vlacketh herself could not deny the ring's merit. Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. I have never seen anything like it. It's my species evolving. 